Hello! So today, we will learn about the quadratic inequalities. A quadratic inequality is an inequality that contains a polynomial with a degree of 2 and can be written in any of the following forms. ax squared plus bx plus c is greater than 0. ax squared plus bx plus c is less than 0. ax squared plus bx plus c is greater than or equal to 0 and ax squared plus bx plus c is less than or equal to zero. Notice the inequality symbol. Now let's try and learn. Let's have some examples. Let's find the solution sets of the following inequalities. Number one, x minus three multiplied by x plus four is less than zero. First, let's find the values of x. which are 3 and negative 4. Let's plot 3 and negative 4 in our number line. Look for a test point value. So find something after negative 4, before negative 4, and after 3. Substitute them to our x. After substituting the inequalities, let's now simplify them. For the first region, it is false. For the second region, it is true. And for the third region, it is false. Therefore, we would just get the middle region, which is B. So those are our solution set, which will give us x is less than 3 and is greater than negative 4. Let's go to the next example. We have x squared plus 7x plus 10 is greater than 0. So we would just do the same thing. For this one, I will be using factoring. So for the values of x, we have negative 5 and negative 2. Plot them to the number line and find some test point value. It should be in the middle of negative 5 and negative 2, after negative 2 and before negative 5. So we have 0, negative 3, and negative 6. Substitute them to the x in the equation. Afterwards, we simplify them. For number 1, or letter A, it is true. For the next region, it is false. And for the last region, it is true. Therefore, the values of x should not be in the middle. That is why we have x should be greater than negative 2 or x should be less than negative 5. Let's now go to our third example. So we have 3x squared minus 14x plus 8. For this example, to find the value of x, I will be using the quadratic formula wherein the value of a is 3, value of b is negative 14, and value of c is 8. Now let's substitute them. Now, 
as we simplify our equation, it will now give us x is equal to 14 plus and minus 10 all over 6, which will give us the two different values of x, which are 24 over 6 or 4 and 4 over 6, which is 2 thirds. Now, let's plot them to the number line. So let's find a value between 2 thirds and 4, after 4 and before 2 thirds. Let's substitute them to x. Afterwards, let's simplify the equation, which will give us the result 8 is less than 0, which is false. Negative 3 is less than 0, which is true. And 12 is less than 0, which is false. Therefore, we will be choosing the middle one wherein the value of x should be greater than 2 thirds and less than 4. So that will be all for our lesson today. Here are some additional examples that you can answer at home. Thank you for listening. Have a great day!